Hey guys, welcome to Game Bad. Today, bringing another video for our weapon blueprint series, and today we're covering the sandbar blueprint for the Kilo 141 or the HK 433 as it's known in real life. So, you're going to unlock this blueprint by reaching max rank uh, for season four. So, I'll go ahead and show you this weapon. We'll build it up from scratch, and I'll show you some live multiplayer gameplay and some realism mode and see how this handles. So, let's go ahead and back out and take a look at this weapon and get right into it. So here we have the final design again. This is the sandbar blueprint for the Kilo 141, or as it's known in real life, the H and K 433. So let's go ahead and back out now. That's the final product. So let me strip this down first to base, and then we'll compare it to some other different blueprint builds as well to see what the differences are, and then jump into the gameplay. So at base, if I strip off all the attachments again of the sandbar, which you unlock by reaching max rank for season four at 155, this is what it's going to look like. So. First attachment that this comes with is going to be a monolithic suppressor, and this is going to assist with the sound suppression, damage at range, the cons being the ADS speed and the aim walking steadiness. We're actually going to leave that base barrel, which I believe that base is going to be about a 14 and a half inch barrel if we were to compare it to something like the 16 and a half inch SOCOM barrel. And I compare them side by side already, and it looks like the base barrel is about a 14 and a half, which is a real life barrel length for the HK433. So we'll go ahead and leave that. Going to want to attack laser on this. This is going to assist with the ADS speed, aim and stability, and aim walking steadiness. The con being that the laser is going to be visible when you ADS. So just be careful where and when you ADS. Go ahead and select that. The optic is going to be the integral hybrid or the Leopold hammer as it's known as real in real life. So this is going to allow you to toggle from your zoom optic. So you have that top mounted, or you have that 3.25 optic there. And then the top mounted red dot sight. So you can go from the zoom optic to a red dot sight for CQC engagements. The only con here being the ADS speed since we're adding that extra weight of the optic. Select that. Now for the stock, we're going to want the FSS close quarter stock. This is going to assist with the aim down sight speed. The cons here being the aiming stability. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then we're going to skip the perk, the rear grip, the ammunition, and go straight to the underbarrel. And what this is going to be is an operator foregrip. So it's going to help out with the recoil control. That, and the only con here being the ADS speed. So we'll go ahead and select that one. And that is our final product for the weapon. So before we compare it to just what the other blueprints look like with the same builds, if I were to just swap out some different parts here, you can see if I just deselect this, I'll look at the different barrels. So you can see it does not retain the camouflage when I swap the different barrels. So now you can see that handguard is now black and doesn't retain the camouflage that the weapon comes with unfortunately so that's one problem with this as well as just some of the different butt stocks again you're not going to retain if i were just deselect and go to the base again you're not going to retain that camouflage on there which is unfortunate but really not a, a huge deal breaker i don't think with this so those are really the only changes the rear grips, you can see what that looks like. It's going to swap out that cosmetic there. And then obviously with the ammunition, if we change from that base 30-round Stenag mag to any of the other ammunitions, it's just going to be what we're used to with those 50-60 round caskets and then the 100-round C-mag. So let me go ahead and put our other attachments back on. So there we go, all five attachments. So the difference is you can see here, we have the, the gold basically on the barrel where the charging handle is, the trigger, as well as the telescopic portion of the buttstock as well, as well as the ejection port and the trigger there. So we have gold there. We have a nice woodland camouflage on the weapon for the upper and lower receiver portions, minus the pistol grip and the back, almost where the buttstock would be there. You can see it fades out a little bit there, as well as the fire select switch. The magazine, again, we just have a standard 30 round 5.56 Stenag mag, and that, that, as well as the pistol grip, has that woodland camouflage tape on there as well so that's really the only changes to this now if we were to compare it to something like the uh berliner or even the union black all these blueprints basically have the same type of layout so this is essentially the same exact thing just minus the woodland cam you can see here i have the same attachments on there and it just doesn't have the woodland cam but again you have tape on the pistol grip as well as the stenag mag and really, that's the only difference is uh, you, have a you have a tan tack laser instead of a black, and then you just ha have a British flag there for the Union Jack and no woodland camouflage on the weapon, and then obviously minus the gold. So if I were to just swap up and down so you can compare the differences between the two, there really is no difference. They're essentially the same exact weapon, just one comes with camouflage and one doesn't. Is really the only change there. So take a look at that one more time. Now, if we were to put camouflage on this, how would it affect the weapon? You can see there it's just going to cover us essentially the same portions that the camouflage covers on this weapon that it comes with 
Uh, so really no changes. They're going to cover the exact same stuff minus parts of the butt stock there. But that's the sandbar blueprint for the HK433, the Kilo 141. Go ahead now, and we'll jump into the gameplay for this. You'll see me playing with this on Realism. So I might just show one game, or I might do a little bit of mix. I played Realism here. Again, they added Realism to the quick play menu. If you go in and select what kind of modes you want to play, there is a Realism Mosh Pit, which I was playing here. Unfortunately, I really wish they would add it back to the main select screen there because it feels like more people are going to play it when it's up front and present for everyone to select i i personally didn't even know it was in the quick play menu option you just had to go and select what mode you want to play i had no idea it was there until i was just looking around and, and checking and i noticed a lot of the games not fully populated it was a lot of four versus three or three versus two for some of these matches but i was able to get into some full ones and i'm really glad because i realism if you've been following the channel, you know it's my favorite way to play Modern Warfare multiplayer for sure. I think it's a lot more fun than standard core multiplayer. But, again, just with that limited HUD and the one-shot headshots, I think it makes it a much more enjoyable experience. But, you can see me, I'll be showing mainly, at least here, the gameplay on Azure Cave in a daytime realism map. But, again, using that Leopold hammered, being able to swap up and down from the 3.25 to the red dot site that's mounted on top there. I'm able to engage at close as well as longer range targets when needed. And again, use that 3.25 optic to get those headshots, which really helps. And this thing really, you will see a couple of engagements here at some point in the cave on the beef leg, I think, where I just go off and have a lot of kills in succession there. I think like four or five guys just rushing the beef leg as I'm defending it and taking it. And I'm able to drop them all there. And again, just being able to swap from the zoomed optic to the red dot site really, really helps you engage at different ranges for those different targets so there's a lot of guys that were out further as well as guys that were up close that were rushing that was able to swap and toggle to that red dot site and able to take them out so i really do like this weapon overall i think the blueprint a little bit lackluster unfortunately again it's basically a copy and paste of something like union black or the berliner and even some more that we've covered here on the channel in the past just with a camouflage on there and some different uh color tape is really the only thing and even this one it just has a Mac 8 Armory sticker on it instead of the Union Jack that we just looked at for the Union Black blueprint for the weapon. So really nothing special for a max rank weapon. I really wish we would get like a, a fully cosmetic change to the weapon. I know a lot of people have wanted something like the ACR and obviously they've done blueprints with the Kilo 1 for 1 to kind of make it look more similar to Ghost ACR from Modern Warfare 2. I mean, I think that'd be a great opportunity to just completely reskin the weapon and turn it into, at least cosmetically, an ACR. Even though at core, at base they're completely different weapons and not really comparable whatsoever. But that's just one example. Um, some other things would be, I think, with the Kilo One for One, you can do that with a lot of different weapons too. We've covered with the AK, giving us like an AK-12 or a 15 actual blueprint. Reskin the weapon, the G36, turn it into an XM8. Something like that would be really nice. Um, but again, I really wish the camouflage was a little bit more. It would stay with the weapon when you swapped out attachments. But overall, I think it's a pretty cool blueprint. I think I'm going to... I definitely have actually used it in some of my war, Warzone builds as well. Obviously, just switching up the attachments to make it more suitable for Warzone. But it is a good blueprint. Let me know down below. Have you unlocked this yet? And what your thoughts are on this blueprint in general. Do you like it? Dislike it? Were you expecting more for reaching max rank for Season 4? I'm hoping... I think they... Definitely, it was good that they bought a little bit of extra time with Season 4 since we did have the week to lay there. And I know Season 5 is coming up here in the beginning of August. So they do have quite a bit of time. At least they gave themselves a little bit of extra time since Season 4 ideally should have been done uh, before they delayed it already. So they should have a little bit of extra time to catch up and maybe produce some more items for Season 5 as well as weapons, blueprints, operator skins, etc. So... I'm actually really excited for Season 5 to see what official weapons we have coming, what different changes we have, blueprints, what the max rank weapon will be for that season, etc. There's a lot of exciting things coming down the road, so really hope uh, we get a roadmap here. Probably the end of the month would be nice. I know a lot of people are asking me what kind of weapons we think it's going to be since there's been a lot of leaks for the AN-94, the Crytek Intervention, the G-28. There's just been... A lot of different rumors are going around in leaks, so I think there's a lot of stuff in the game files. We'll just have to wait and see what they release for Season 5 when they bring out the roadmap. But, again, let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon. Are you a fan of the Kilo 1 for 1 overall or not? Or do you, What's your favorite weapon to run in the game? What attachments do you run on this or any other weapon? I'm curious to know. Definitely wanted to 
uh, build some weapons. Probably start doing some user requested weapons as well going forward as we get into the end of season four here. But again, let me know down below what you think of this weapon. This is the sandbar blueprint for the Kilo 141 of the HK433. And until next time, Buffner Gaming. Out. We've captured C. We're falling behind. Regroup. My sister team at B. Target is acquired. We've lost B. Capturing Alpha. Alpha, go! Objective failed. Report back to base.